I'm just gonna read this off the paper because I'm going to put a picture up. They have been introduced successfully to other areas. Thank you once again for coming to check us out here today at New York Eternics. My name is Kenny, as most of you already know, and for those of you who don't, welcome to the channel. This is New York Eternics, your source for everything quail and game bird related. Before we begin, if this is your first time visiting the channel, or if you haven't already subscribed, please do so by hitting that subscribe button below, and also make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified in real time whenever we do leave new content on the channel. So today we're gonna to be talking about the California quail, or the valley quail, scientific name being Calipepla californica, is a quail in the New World family of quail as opposed to the Old World family. As mentioned in a previous video, which you can check out by clicking on the card up top, The California quail has a feather on top of its head, which looks like a single feather, but it's actually six feathers. The male California quail would usually have a black plume, where the female would usually have a brown one. The closest known relative to the California quail is the Gimbel's quail. The Gimbel's quail usually inhabits an area south of California. It's thought that this is a result of a species split that happened approximately one to two million years ago. The California quail was established as the state bird of California back in 1932. It's also the official bird of the city and county of San Francisco, although as of 2017, only one remained in the whole city. This quail had been seen in a few locations around the city and had been nicknamed Ishii by the locals. This is in honor of Ishii, the last known member of the Native American Yahi people who were taken out in the 19th century California genocide. This is a photograph of a male quail thought to be Ishii in the area taken by photographer Susan Mullaney. There are six recognized subspecies of the California quail, one of which I can't even find a name for, but that's what research is all about, right? So the subspecies are as follows. I'll just list them here. The California quail lives in warmer regions of the country, so one of its favorite things to do is to take dust baths. They love to get around in a covey and find loose soil to wriggle around in. They like to flap their wings and kick up the dust. This is how they bathe. This is how they keep cool as well. A good ornithologist can detect the presence of quail just by studying the ground and checking out the little patterns that they leave behind. The California quail is a year-round resident, meaning that it doesn't migrate from one area to the other. It stays around all year. The California quail's population does seem to decline in any given urban area as the human population increases. They have been introduced successfully to other areas including Hawaii, Chile, British Columbia, Uruguay, Argentina, Brazil, Peru, and of course New Zealand. We really do love to introduce new birds to New Zealand for whatever reason. I love it. They've also been introduced to Norfolk Island and King Island in Australia. The California quail usually will forage for its food on the ground and lives off of whatever is easily available, including leaves and seeds. It has been known to feed on insects and berries as well because it does need a high protein diet. Like most quail, if they're startled, they will burst into quick flight known as flushing, although they'd rather escape on foot. The California quail breeds in a shrubby area and will usually make a very minimalist nest. The female will usually lay a clutch of about 12 eggs, and once these eggs hatch, they usually will spend time with both adults, male and female. Sometimes multiple families of California quail will get together and create community broods. These broods usually will include at least two females, 
a few males, and multiple chicks. The males in these groups are not always the genetic father, but what does that matter? Sometimes during a good year, the female California quail will leave the brood to mate with another associated male from the brood and lay a whole nother clutch of eggs. And the cycle continues. While doing research for this video, I did come across another area of concern, and that's in particular with the California quail, and that's a mosquito-borne illness known as encephalitis. Now that does require a whole lot of research, so we may or may not cover that at a different time. Let me know in the comments if you want to hear about that. I'll do the research if necessary. And of course, if you have any questions that weren't answered in this video, let me know. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for coming to check us out here today at New York Eternix. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those below. Also, leave a like for the video and please subscribe to the channel for more. Hit that notification bell so you're notified in real time anytime we do leave new content on the channel. And I'd like to thank you once again for coming to check us out here today at New York Eternix. Thank mm -hmm. you.